funny how when you first start moving, you pack away everything nice and neat and label it. And then towards the end, you just start throwing things in boxes and bins. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so glad that you are here. A couple of weeks ago, I shared some of our downsizing to move footage. And today I wanted to share our actual moving day and share with you guys how it went. We did make it to Virginia. I'm actually sitting here in our new bedroom, but it was no joke, one of the most stressful experiences my husband and I have probably ever been through together. We seriously overestimated how much we were going to be able to fit into our vehicles. And on the last day, we were just stuffing stuff in there. We had to give a bunch of stuff away for free at the last minute, and it was just crazy. And I apologize for being MIA for so long. I usually post at least once a week, but it has been nonstop since we got here, just trying to get settled in and get our lives kind of situated in this new state. But now we are back and we're kind of getting into a rhythm of a little bit more normalcy. And I'm really excited to continue to share a journey with y'all. And make sure you watch until the end because I'm gonna be sharing the footage of what it actually looked like to fit our entire lives into two vehicles. And I wanted to announce that this channel just recently hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you, thank you so much to everyone who has watched my videos, subscribed, commented, liked. It truly means the world to me and I am so grateful for this community. So thank you so much. All of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the moving day footage. Well, it is the night before we move. We are heading out early tomorrow morning and we still have all of this stuff everywhere. <laughs> We're still trying to pack away and fit into the vehicles. And we still have to clean the apartment. So fitting everything into a very small car and a van is a little more challenging than we realized even after downsizing so much and getting rid of so much stuff, it still just feels like there's endless, just miscellaneous items that we're having to try to find space for. So hopefully we can get all of this done in the next couple hours so we can get to bed. So my husband is disassembling our dresser and Judah is helping. <laughs> so that we can fit that in the van and have a little bit more space. Are you helping? Down memory lane You and me long time ago And we were teens With tremendous dreams Always playing king and queen We had set our minds to leave all right, so for these totes that I have all of the uh, baby clothes separated out by age group, we definitely need to save more space. So what we're gonna do is take each of them out, put them in one of these um, grocery bags and just label it. And then we'll stack these totes to save room. And then we'll put these bags inside one of the vacuum seal bags. or so when I close my eyes I see luckily here in the bathroom I already decluttered a ton of stuff earlier on and there's really not that much stuff left and we were actually able to use up a lot of stuff as well um, like I just finished off my lotion and like my face lotion and stuff like that so there's not really a ton of stuff in here to pack up. So I'm just going to start gathering up the things that we do want to keep and putting them in this tote.
Alright, so I was able to fit all of our bathroom toiletries that were underneath the sink into these two totes. So one of them is like all the toiletries, and then this top one is like first aid stuff that's not expired. I got rid of anything that was expired. Um, so not too bad. And then the only thing that this doesn't include is like the toiletries that I'm keeping out to pack in our overnight bag for when we're staying at the hotel. Recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice. And I knew we would catch up, and that we would be the ones left be. So I saw this hack on Pinterest where you just wrap up your silverware caddy with like plastic or saran wrap, but we didn't have any plastic wrap, so I just used this craft paper and wrapped it in packing tape. But that is a nice little hack if you are low on boxes um, and it also keeps all of your silverware contained and you can just open it up when you get there and it's all ready to go. Alright, so these are the three, I guess four including this little guy, plants that we are taking. Orchid, this was the first plant that we got from my son's nursery. Orchid my husband gave me for our one month wedding anniversary and it has survived year after year and blooms every year so I really wanted to keep that one. And this guy you can't tell right now but it has this really long vine that's so pretty and took a while to grow so hopefully these guys survive the trip. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark. Mm -hmm. The stories I've been told never seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some We've got the van loaded down, packed to the brim, but we did it. And here's the car, pretty packed full as well. But we basically have our whole lives in these two vehicles, so we are ready to hit the road. Are you ready to hit the road? Are you ready to say bye bye Dallas? Bye Texas! We are loaded up. I'm in the van. You see it's packed pretty darn full. If I had realized how hard it would be to fit all of this stuff in here, I would have definitely gotten rid of more stuff ahead of time. And at the last minute we still ended up having to leave a, a bunch of stuff behind. So. But we are ready to go now. We got a much later start than we anticipated. It's about 11 o'clock now. And it's gonna take us about 10 hours or so to get there, not including stops. Um, but he's got Judah in the car with him and we are officially saying goodbye to Dallas. On this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for we are on our way to Virginia now. We spent three days in Alabama to hang out with family and we left again this morning. It's about another seven hour drive without stopping. So with stops, probably more like 10 hours. And we are going on into Virginia today, but then we're stopping again for to stay at a hotel um, because it's about another 12 hour drive and that's a lot when you've already been driving so much and especially with a one-year-old. So we're gonna stay at a hotel again tonight and then tomorrow morning, which will be Tuesday morning, March 2nd, we should be arriving into Dumfries, our final destination for now, or for at least the next six months, so. This is the view from our hotel in Westville, Virginia. And I still wonder where you are well, it is Tuesday morning and we are leaving the hotel in Whiteville. I just got a shot of the view right across from a really pretty mountain, but we didn't get to really enjoy anything here. We literally just 
came during the night, slept, and now we're heading out to make the final leg of our trip, which should only be about five hours. So we should be arriving at Humphreys sometime this evening. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark The stories I've been told 